Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Chris Abbott, but all my friends just call me Abbo. And I've been helping uh, churches use social media and technology to grow their church for the last seven years. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to be walking you through how to start a church Facebook page coming up. Now, like, Gus has to offer. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. If you are new to the channel, then this channel actually exists to help pastors and church leaders be more effective with digital outreach, social media, and be able to reach more people for Jesus. So what we're going to do here, specifically in this video, is I run into a lot of churches that are either starting up for the very first time, right? Maybe they're, it's a church plant or kind of a church restart, and they don't have a Facebook page, or they want to start running Facebook ads, and they all of a sudden realize, oh, shoot, we don't actually have a church Facebook page. We have a personal profile that we set up as the church Facebook page. Or just the other day, I ran into a church that actually had a Facebook group and thought they had uh, a Facebook page, but it turns out that they didn't. Well, if you want to run targeted Facebook ads, you have to have a church Facebook page in order to do that. So the first thing you need to have in order to set up a church Facebook page is a personal profile, right? So you either have to log into your personal profile or have someone from the church log into theirs, but you can only create a Facebook page if you already have a personal profile. All right, so once you log into your personal profile, I'll you need to do is go to facebook.com slash pages and click on create new page, right? So it's actually going to walk you through. In fact, it'll actually take me longer to explain it in this video than it will to actually set it up in real time. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to name your page, right? So I suggest naming this exactly what you call your church. So if your church is called journey church, then just call it journey church. This is not the time to kind of be cute and clever or to use like JC family or something like that. What you want to do is be very clear and to the point and just call it Journey Church. The next is you wanna have a description. So, right, in just a few words, you wanna basically kind of describe your church, what your church is like, right, the type of people that go to your church. This is gonna help pull potential visitors to you because they identify with who you are as a church. They identify with your DNA and the vision of your ministry. All right, next, you actually wanna upload a profile and a cover photo. So here's what I recommend for that. I actually recommend for your cover photo uh, using a picture, not just of the outside of your church, but actually of the inside of your church, right? It's a great way to either use a picture of like a service so people can see your people and they can see what a service looks like or just have like some like smiling, laughing people at your church uh, as a cover photo, right? Because what we want to do is we want to show people how friendly, warm, and welcoming your church is. And then instead of using your church logo as your profile photo, I recommend using a picture of you as the pastor, right? The reason is because people don't do business with nameless, faceless organizations. They're not going to connect with your logo logo, right? Or this nameless, faceless organization, they're going to connect with you as a person. So every single potential visitor wants to know two things, right? Number one, who's the pastor? And number two, who are the people? So you can answer that first question simply by using a picture of you as the pastor for your profile photo. All right, next up, you want to fill in the hours of your church, right? Your service times, and then any contact information. I recommend definitely having a call to action at the top. There's actually a button that you can choose. And one of the best ones that you can have is either uh, send message so that they can send you you a Facebook message or it's call now and you can actually connect it to your phone number so people can call the church if they have any questions. Right? Those are my two favorite. You can pick whichever one kind of fits your church best. And then finally, what you want to do is you want to start filling in some content, right? So you've got all of your contact info on there. You've got your hours. You've got a cover photo. You've got a picture of you as the profile photo. You've got a call to action button. So now you just want to start to put a little bit of information on there, right? If somebody comes to your church and they see that it's a brand new page, they don't want to see a blank page. So just start to upload some content on there, right? It can be some sermon series quotes. It can be some scripture cards. Okay. So before I get to my last point, uh, man, make sure to hit that subscribe button, right? We've got a lot of videos that we're constantly putting out, showing you how to use your new Facebook page, right? What to post on social media and even how to use Facebook ads and other types of social media in order to attract new visitors to church. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. So you get notified every single time we drop a new video. All right, and the last thing to do is now that you have your new Facebook page created and you've got a little bit of content on there, now you wanna start to promote it. So the best way to do that is to go out to your friends and family, right? People that you know uh, who are in your church, who live within driving distance of your church, and just invite them to like the page and Facebook will automatically uh, send them an invite to like it and then they'll have the ability to click on it and go to the page to kind of see what you've created. Now that you've created this church Facebook page, you can start boosting posts and you can create targeted Facebook ads 
in order to invite new people to church on Sunday. All right, so I hope you found this video valuable. I'm telling you, when you go out there, you're going to be able to create the, your page in less time than it took you to actually watch this video. But once you get that set up, if you want to know exactly what to post on social media, make sure to check out our free video series, What to Post on Church Social Media, or click on the link in the description below. We'll see you soon.